everybody welcome back to the 20 something diaries i hope you all have been well first off i hope you guys had a great thanksgiving if you guys i think does everyone i'm not sure if everyone celebrates thanksgiving but i hope you guys had a good holiday um and yeah i do i did want to sit down and film a little bit of an update in this video because you guys know i have been on my like posting and i've been pretty consistent but i had to take a little bit of a breather um i quickly posted about it on my like channels community section so i'll kind of get into what's been going on after but i do want to share with you guys what i have been up to so first off i was actually invited to a broadway show i was actually the day before which was thursday i went out to dinner with one of my friends we ended up getting like thin crust pizza and we ended up getting some wine which was really fun i always like hanging out with her and then the next day i was actually invited to a broadway show this is today's outfit i'm wearing this long sleeve um, top from Aritzia and then my black Aritzia those pants and then this coat is from uh, Express I for my purse I wanted to do this one but the color just doesn't really go that well like if it wasn't black I feel like it would look better so I'm gonna do my Gucci purse and today's fragrance I am wearing Killian's Princess and Baca Rouge by 40 so that is the outfit very simple I, I was invited by a company called yes broadway to go see the michael jackson um broadway show which i didn't even know that they had a show for michael jackson and i was really excited because i really do enjoy broadway shows i've only been to a few but i really do like them and i think that they are such nice like dates and the show was really really great um the guy that performed as michael jackson i think he was a stand-in because he's not the normally the person that performs so i think the next day the original actor performed so i was a little sad that i didn't get to see him perform but nonetheless the show was really really great and yeah i was surprised that it went over pretty much all the aspects of his life. I didn't think that it would go over like his Jackson 5 um, era and a, some of the stuff I didn't even know either. So the show was really nice. It was so enjoyable. And I was honestly really shocked at how close we were. We were sitting in the orchestra seats, which are right in the front. And it's so funny, like seeing the crowd there. The crowd was, I wouldn't say it was older. I'd say it was like maybe 40s 50s maybe 60s and it's so interesting to see that that was like their i don't want to compare him to drake but that was their like you know idol at the time so it was really nice to see like i don't know like true fans there um they were singing all the songs so it was really nice so thank you so so much to carly for inviting me she was so sweet and thank you so much to Yes Broadway for inviting me as well. And then after that, we went out to a place called, I think it's Bill's Bar and Burger. I've been there once before and I got like this mixed, I think it was called South of the Border Burger. The first time I had it, it was really good. But this time around, it was like really messy. Um, so it was still good, but that was a really nice date for uh my boyfriend and i so i really enjoyed that and then the next day i believe uh my boyfriend and i just went around like i think we had to do some errands so we just like did a bunch of returns and stuff we just walked around we went down towards i think it was west village i think and we just walked around we went to washington square park which is usually always busy because nyu is there and um yeah it's pretty busy but it's a nice park and then we also went to this place called domo domo it's like a japanese sushi restaurant we went there a few weeks ago to have that like katsu um korean tasting and it was really nice we ate a lot of food prior we actually went to there's a bar like a wine bar right next to it which i really like going there i actually prefer wine more than any other drink to be honest so 
um, I really like discovering new wine bars. So we went there and then we ended up meeting up with the same like couple friends that night. It was like very spontaneous. We just met up and just had a few drinks. It was actually really busy. I usually like, I don't know. I just, I forgot how busy weekends are. So every bar, every place was super busy. Um, so yeah, we did that. And then I think it was Saturday or Sunday, actually, I ended up just refilming uh, my Timu video. So I had to redo that because I didn't like how it looked in the beginning. So I wanted to redo it. So I ended up doing that. Um, so yeah, so after that, I ended up stopping. I ended up stopping vlogging because I actually got some news that one of my family members had died. And it's kind of like... It's kind of awkward to talk about, not awkward, but I feel awkward talking about it. I'm not really sure how to like explain it. You guys know I don't like to share too much of like my personal life online. Like, yes, I do vlog, but I don't go too in depth with it. But yeah, so basically over the weekend, I had received a call saying that one of my family members had died and she had called me like three times and normally she doesn't do that. So she all, she was like, um, you know, call me as soon as possible. And lately I've been waking up super late. So around like nine, nine thirty. So she, when I had looked at my phone, I literally looked at my phone as soon as I woke up and it said like three missed calls 30 minutes ago. So I called her and she told me that this person had died. And I was in, I was like, for a second, I thought I was dreaming because it didn't make any sense. This person, like, they're, they, they're not old. They weren't ill. So that's why I was confused. And I still couldn't believe it. So I was trying to ask what happened. And then we hung up. And then I called back again. And I was like, wait, can you just, like, re-explain this to me? Because it just didn't make any sense to me. So I ended up going to the hospital which luckily, not luckily, but they were going to be in the city, which I was here already. So I ended up going there and then I got like, you know, further detail on what happened. And I think I'm still in shock, but I think that whole day was just like, it felt so surreal. I just, I can't even like begin to explain the feeling that I had and that I still do have because this is a person that I grew up with, one. And at the same time, I don't really like wanna talk about it too much, but in a way we also weren't speaking, which I think, I think personally I hold like, I hold a lot of guilt. Just thinking about it now, it's just, it's so, Petty. This person was so, so young, younger than me. Like I'm only 20, I was gonna say I was 26. I'm only 27, this person was younger than me. I do feel a little bit better knowing that from what I was told, they did live their life to the fullest, which does make me feel a little bit better. That hopefully they didn't have like any regrets in life. I think I mostly, I mostly feel bad for their parents. I think seeing them lose their child was one of the most like devastating things I've ever seen. Yeah, that's just something that I've been going through. I am going to their funeral over the weekend and I don't wanna talk too much about it because at the same time, I want to respect their privacy. Yeah, this is my second funeral this year, which is crazy to me. I think I've come to the conclusion for myself that I'm going to write them a letter and just kind of, I don't, I'm not quite sure what I'm gonna write yet. I think also this has been affecting me a lot because this person has been in, basically all of my dreams for the past week. I haven't been able to sleep. I feel like, oh my God, one night I was, I had a heart, like I feel like I was having a heart attack. Um, I was waking up sweating and 
they visited me in my dream and I swear I actually think it was them not just like dream them so I think that's like I think that's what's making it even sadder because they've been in a lot of my dreams too so for me I guess I don't really know how to handle grief that well because I haven't had like I've had people I've had immediate family pass away but for some reason I think that this hits a little bit differently yeah I say all that to say is I think this has really made me see how short life is. Like, life is so, so, so short. And I think for me, I always like, things that I wanna do, I always tell myself, oh, I'll just do it tomorrow, or I'll do it this day. And you, honestly, tomorrow is not promised. If there is something that you wanna do, just do it honestly or someone that you haven't spoken to because of petty reasons i could see if this person like really wronged you that's not what i'm talking about but i'm just talking about just like something small like just talk to them because honestly you never know when is when's the next time you're going to see them i think that this just makes me want to kind of live my life to the fullest and not focus as much on little stuff like i can't tell you how many little things upset me and i know for me i have a problem with i me i can hold a grudge like the smallest thing will rub me the wrong way and i'm just like i will wash my hands clean of someone and it's not it's not worth it to focus on these little things like it's just it's honestly it's not i'm just really trying to at this point just do what i want to do be happy and you know just honestly live life to the fullest i i can't really put it into words i feel like people will know what i'm talking about but yeah that is my little bit of a life update but on a lighter note this is such a horrible transition <laughs> i was gonna show you guys what i got for black friday it's just um on a lighter note guys uh i i actually did really well for black friday i thought i was gonna go crazy but i actually did not and i know in my goals like i do a goal recap a monthly recap and goals video i talked about how i wasn't gonna buy any makeup now i had to only because the sale was so so good like it was so good and i think i am stocked up for the next like five months to be honest um i purchased some stuff from julia's place they always have such good sales i remember their best sale was for juneteenth i think it was like 65% off the whole site um and this stuff actually went on sale before black friday all the concealers were three dollars and fifty cents the powders originally are 18 or 20 dollars they were four dollars and fifty cents all the blushes were on sale which i really like their blushes as well so what i picked up from the sale i picked up three of these face finishing powders these are powder foundations and then guys look at okay this is one hand okay and then i unboxed two so i picked up 10 10 concealers i picked them up in the shades 13 which is my face shade i also use it for under eyes I picked up the shade 14, which is my first time trying it, and I picked up the shade 15. So 15, I definitely use for brightening. I also picked up, I like, I picked up 14 because it had like a peach look to it, and I thought that that would be really great for canceling out um, dark circles and what is it, hyperpigmentation. I have it all over my face now, and I honestly feel like it did a really good job. So I am set. I wanted to pick up a lot because I wear these concealers when I go to the gym. I usually only spot conceal, so I just needed them. And I use them 
pretty much daily and all over my face so i just felt like the deal was really good and for everything that i got i only spent 52 or 53 dollars so that was all of my black friday shopping um which i'm actually very happy with myself about i thought i was gonna buy more stuff but i was just thinking like Black Friday and Cyber Monday, I feel like are designed for people just to go crazy. And I'm really trying to edit my life a little bit when it comes to the stuff that I buy. I also received some stuff from Essie. I was really, really excited about this because I think this is my first nail polish PR package that I've gotten. So they sent me three nail polishes, which look like this. And then they also sent a fast dry top coat, which will be really nice. And then I've actually been using this a lot. This is a roll on cuticle oil. I have like a cuticle oil, but it's a dropper. So I actually like to keep this on my purse and it actually smells really good. It's like a, I think it's apricot. It's like a citrusy kind of oily um, smell, but it's been really good for my nails. I just popped this on because during the wintertime, my nails tend to get really dry. And, um, but yeah, that is the, the vlog. I'm sorry that it's like a different kind of, you know, format. But I just wanted to update you guys on how I've been. And I want to say thank you so, so much for all of your condolences. I think I'm going to do vlogmas so i need to sit down and just get all that stuff in order i do have some video ideas i want to do a what is it a beginning of the year like mood board or what's dream dream board i don't know how to explain it like like this board on my ipad which i made last year for 2023 so i want to sit down and do one for 2024 and then i also want to show you guys like my wish list that i make i've been doing this like every kind of couple months just to see what i want and then eventually stuff comes off because i'm like oh my god i really really want this and i'm like actually i don't really want this um so yeah i think i want to do a video for that but yeah i hope you guys are doing well and i will talk to you guys next time